Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 10 of Girls Man Cry. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Yes, Momoka. Stop being so negative all the time, even though you're my best girl. And I feel the same because I do that too. Because sometimes I don't feel like I'm popular as fuck. Even, the, like, <laughs> we'll talk about that in the opening. Excuse me? Okay, as I was saying. Um, so once again, as someone who's been on YouTube for like uh, since 2017, even dealing with the battle of having, getting to 10k on one literally channel, losing the 10k channel due to copyright infringement and such, um, and now rebuilding that in the new channel, like, even though I still don't think I'm really popular and such, I, because as someone who's been here such a long time and I have been in so many reaction mashups that it's not even funny, um... With the core guys that I know, like, yeah, I'm the only girl. Like, normally you will see some other girls in here, too. But, um, you'll always see me. It, it's bad that, like, literally, as I've told some of my friends and stuff, I'm like, dude, I am popular in Japan and stuff, which is still weird to think about because it is. Because <laughs> I never thought that, like, literally doing something that I fell in love with would... Make me be in this moment right now, you know? It's still weird to think about. Yeah. <laughs> but I love it. I love the fact that I get to do this and that I'm on this crazy ass journey, you know? I'm just, I'm not, I'm blessed. Let's just say that. I, I'm very blessed. And I'm lucky to have you guys. Oh, I definitely would. Because, I mean, once again, anything could be a scam. Anything. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. When Momoko was still in there, yes. Uh, Obvi. Do you want us to change our style, ma'am? Hmm? <laughs> yeah, that's all that matters. 
anything. Right? I mean, mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I get it. It's complicated. Let's just freaking talk about Maki from Love Live or anyone who was a writer in Love Live or singing. Like, Jesus. Is your dad? It's gotta be. Hmm? Oh! Nina, how the hell did you get out here so quick? Ah, uh, well, uh, mm -hmm. mom and dad. Oh, Ugh. right. I mean, they could be wanting to talk to you about anything good, maybe some bad things, but good things at the same time too. I know it's it's awkward. I get that. Why don't you write the song about you conveying your feelings to your parents? Yeah, and running away isn't really gonna solve your problems, Nina. I would too. Girl. You <laughs> huh? <gasps> oh! <laughs> I mean, but they are your. Hold on, wait. Wait, 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 wait. I gotta ask this. I have to freaking ask this. Now, the only way that they can change the locks is if her parents also wrote, co-wrote. And I think they did, right? So they have a right to change the locks. Damn, that's a good-ass paycheck. She's right. You really should talk to your parents. Honey, they just, maybe this time they're changed. And even after you writing that note, but you need to talk to your parents. This is the only way the three of you are going to move on from this. You not moving on, you're never going to let go of this. And they're not going to let go of this. That too. But it is Nina. Oh. <laughs> All right, go make up.
You got this. I know this is a very much nerve wracking and hella anxiety is up and everything because, right, she hasn't seen her parents in a really, oh, dang, girl, um, in a hot minute. But she needs this clarity, not only for herself, but her parents need it, too. Mm -hmm. I still don't like the fact that he is literally separating himself from them, but it's only because, you know, how the way he's doing it, by the book and stuff, but still... Right? And she's done exactly what she's wanted to do. You still need to praise her for that. You see what he's doing? He's guilt tripping her into everything and, and that's something you really shouldn't do hmm we get that but she's been taking care of herself But you still don't understand. Where? It's crazy because in a way I understand both sides. I cuz situation with of course my parents of course duh. But also because you're thinking as an adult me, you got to think of what's best for your kid and stuff. Even though I have no kids, but I truly understand how her parents feel at the moment, but I also understand. Wow. I also understand how Nina feels. Okay, I, I get that. But that's too little too late. We get that. She gets that. Exactly. You just continue on. Mm -hmm. You gotta let her do this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Of course.
I'm not a skirt girl, but her skirt is really pretty. I like that. Mm-hmm. You should really tell your parents the same thing you told her. <laughs> so? <laughs> oh. Well, of course, because, you know, as someone who is a famous educator dealing with that with, like, his actual students, oh, he can do something like that. But when it comes to his kid, mind blown. Don't know what to do. And some parents are like that, too. Because you have a purpose. Yeah, that's not you. Mm -hmm. Relax. There you go. Same with the drinking. Don't guilt trip her. Your apartment? <laughs> there you go. There we go. There you go. That's clarity.
This is officially now the best episode. I'm sorry. I know, right? No food, nothing, like, not a little keychain, something, <laughs> but it's okay. <laughs> yeah, definitely, those are tears. <laughs> From one family bar to our other. That's so, okay. Just, I love the fact that we talked about in this episode, not only the trauma, the guilt tripping of parents and stuff, because family members can do that. Your friends can do that. Um, anyone can do that to you. And how much that <sighs> hurts. You never really want to do that, but I understand why he had to do it because it's like, Oh, while well, you're out here doing this, think about what everything else is happening at home and yada and stuff. But to know that Nina was to a point that she wanted to K-word herself is truly sad. But the thing is, like, Diamond Dust music is what made her come back to her senses and stuff and to see that life is truly worth living and also becoming or really having a band herself you the thing is like you get inspired by anything and because of that that makes you look at life completely different than you were or you did a, a while ago and stuff sometimes it could be a movie it could be a book it could be a tv show um movies anime and such throughout the god 30 years of my freaking life and watching anime for such a long freaking time yeah anime inspires the hell out of me um it definitely makes me learn things that i didn't really think about especially like in any type of age group that i have been in or i've been or it's reminded me of situations in the past specifically that i've gone through and being like well, damn, I kind of wish I did this instead of the way I did, vice versa and such. You never know what in the world things could freaking teach you and such. But I'm glad that in the end of this, she finally got the clarity that she needed from her dad and that they can start on like a good footing, a brand new footing and such. And that he now truly understands why she likes the song, why she liked Diamond Dust when Momoka was in the group. Um, I don't know per se if her relationship with her mom is still the same or different. I, I kind of want to say it's a little bit of both because at the end of the day, this was mainly the relationship of her and her dad. I do also love the fact that the school did apologize for the situation and the accusation of it, of accusing her of X, Y, and Z and such, and not realizing that this was a bullying moment. It does remind you of any other situation where you've seen in news, articles, whatever, in schools, um, sometimes probably even the workplace, or just anything where you don't see those signs of bullying, uh, I cannot speak, of bullying until it is too late. And when something when a bigger tragedy comes from that. And that's why they always tell us to really pretty much wherever you are is to read those signs and such. As someone who was bullied years ago when I was in freaking 
elementary school. And then what I would say, was I really bullied? I don't think I was bullied again in high school because, I mean, people didn't really want to try me and such. I was never a bullier. Um, but I don't think I was. Maybe, like, teased or something. I don't really remember. Um, but anytime, I would just ignore someone because I'm, like, the best. Well, yeah, I did get bullied. Um, but really, I wanted to beat the crap out of the girl. <laughs> um... But even if it was someone who was shorter than me, I really didn't give a F. You were shorter than me, taller than me. I really didn't give an F two Fs about you because I was like, you're not the reason why I'm here dealing with school. I'm I'm here coming home, doing my homework, going to school the next day, dealing with ish. I got other things to worry about than a freaking small 5'2 girl picking on me over some stupid ish. Like, bye. Goodbye. I Like, goodbye and good fucking riddance and such. I think if I ever saw her, probably. As an adult, would I try to be friends with my bully? Probably not, because I don't need that in my life and such. That's just me, because I'm, I'm good over here. See your way over there. Bye bye And such. And then also, we always know, karma is a bitch. Repeating, karma is definitely a bitch, so always be mindful of, you know, people who bully you, because you never know how the, how in the world their life may or may not turn out. Other than that, really, no, this was a damn good episode. But yeah, always be, if someone ever, if you ever, this is any age, including as an a freaking adult, um, you see someone get a bully, be smart, stand up, put a stop to it and such. And because you making that one good decision can change the outcome millions. So always be mindful. Be safe, too, regardless. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episode 10 of Girls Band Cry. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Natural Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys <laughs> all officially on Friday for episode 11. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.